Hello, once again, fourth grade. I wanted to show you how you're doing one of the options for your Tuesday, your snowy cold Tuesday. Um, remember, if you do this one, you don't have to do the snow day option. If you do the snow day option, you don't have to do this one. So it shouldn't be a whole lot of work for you to do, to do today. So make sure you're reading those directions really well. All right, so here's how you're doing this assignment. You're going to, on that first slide, Uh, find the factors for the number. So you're thinking of all the multiplication facts you can think of to get to 8. So we have 1 times 8 first. I know that 2 times 4 will also equal 8. Anything times 3 equal 8? No, we've already said 4, so you don't want to repeat that one. Five, no, six, no. I believe those are the only things I can multiply to get eight. Even if I said eight times one, it's still the same multiplication fact, just switched around. So this would show me that I have one, two, three, four factors for eight. Okay, you'll do the same thing for 12. Remember, if you don't repeat numbers when you're doing multiplication facts, and you'll do the same thing for 27, tell me how many factors they have. Finding the factors, you're using the rainbow method here. Uh, it's just like the video I had posted earlier. So always start with one. So here I know that one times 30 will equal 30. And then think of what number we checked after one in that video. Then think of the number after that number. So you're trying to list all those multiplication facts to get to 30. And you want them in order from least to greatest to. My video um, that I posted shows how to do this. So please make sure you watch that. Uh, make sure you don't list a number more than once. And make sure you put here the factors that you found. On this last slide, hello, is two a factor. Highlight the numbers that have two as a factor. Remember, for two to be a factor, the number needs to be even. So you're going to have to look in the ones place. I know four is an even number, but seven is the ones place. So this one would not be an even number. Two would not be a factor. 42, however, has a two in the ones place, which tells me that two will be a factor. So because two is an even number. So you're going to actually click one of these little green boxes over here, and you're going to slide it over to 42 to show that 42 would be able to div divisible by two. So you're gonna do that with all these numbers. So look and see which ones are even and then move that green box over there. All right, that is what your assignment for today. Or you could do the snow day assignment, which there are two for um, this snowy Tuesday because they're, they're both kind of short. So um, if you have any questions, please message me.